Hello amazing people I am Ayushi Rawat and welcome to my channel I am back with another video tutorial for my python's project playlist Have you heard about notion do you use notion notion is a super clean and deceptively minimalist note taking app I'm still learning how to use notion because I've recently started using it and if you watch my videos or read my blog post regularly you'll know by now that i'm a big python fan so i was exploring how to use notion a week earlier and it hit me is there a way i can automate it with python so in this video tutorial we'll learn how to automate notion we'll see the implementation in python let's look at today's agenda We'll cover the basics of Notion. We'll look at the modules used, and finally, we'll see how to automate Notion with Python. Let's get started. What is Notion? Notion is an application that provides components such as databases, Kanban boards, wikis, calendars, and reminders. Users can connect with these components to create their own system for knowledge management, note-taking, data management. project management among others it's basically a new tool that blends your everyday work applications into one it's a all in one workspace for you and your team if you wish to know more about it you can refer to notions about page and its wikipedia page i'll attach the link in the description box let's have a look at the modules used we are going to make use of notion module Notion module is unofficial Python API client for Notion. It works for both free account as well as paid accounts. Let's have a look at some of its features. It has object oriented interface, mapping database tables to Python classes and attributes. Automatic conversion between Notion formats and appropriate Python objects. Callback system for responding to changes in Notion and Local cache of data is unified data so if you wish to know more about it you can refer to its documentation i'll attach the link in the description box below you can also refer to its github page now that you're familiar with notions use case and have acquired the basic knowledge of notion module we can move forward to the coding section It's time to code. You can find all the code at my YouTube projects GitHub repository. Drop a star if you find it useful. You can also refer to my blog for a step-by-step -step guide. In order to access the Python library, we need to install it in our Python environment. So open your command terminal and use pip install notion. since i've already got this install it says as requirement already satisfied once done let's head over to a vs code editor and let's start by creating a new python file i'll name it as automate notion i will make use of habit tracker template we'll prepare a script that will add a new row at the end with proper formatted once you open notion and log in you can spot templates in the left navigation bar if you open it a new pop up window will open next you need to expand the personal tab once you expand the personal tab you will be able to spot the habit tracker template post successful selection hit use this template If the template appears in your left navigation bar, you have successfully imported in your Notion. Now we need to import the package in our Python script. So let's head over to a VS Code editor. Notion dot client import Notion client. Next, we require the authentication token. For this, open Notion in your browser. Post successful login. Open Dev Tools. To open Dev Tools, hit right click and select Inspect. You can also use the shortcut Controls plus Shift plus I for Windows. Next, navigate to the Application tab, and in the Storage section, you'll see Cookies. You need to expand that and select Cookies. 
Now you need to search for token V2. So we have a row here with name token V2 and you need to copy its value and save it someplace safe. Now you can close the dev tools and let's head over to a VS code editor. Let's store the token. The value that you copied for token v2 is referred to as token here. Next, we need to get the tracker URL. So head over to your habit tracker, hit right click and copy link and head back to our VS code editor and paste the link. The habit trackers URL is referred as collection URL here. Next. Here we are making use of client.getCollection method and passing a collection URL and storing it in collection view. Once we have set up the connection, now we are ready to add a new row. We will make use of add new row method. Let's store it in new row. Collection view dot collection. And let's use method add row. Now let's populate the values. Okay, so let's set the running checkbox as true, journaling checkbox as true and we can set the screen time as 30. So new row dot running equals to true. So we have set new row dot running and journaling as true at screen time minutes at 30. Let's save and run our Python script. So our program has run successfully. Now let's visit Notion. So if you observe the running checkbox is enabled, the journaling checkbox is enabled and the screen time minutes is set to 30. If you wish to automate this script by formatting the date of the new entry in habit tracker, you can use the date time module. With these steps, we have successfully created a workflow to automate Notion using Python. That's it. Simple, isn't it? Hope this tutorial has helped you. You can play around with Notion library and even explore more features. Tag me on Twitter when you do so. You can find all the code at my YouTube projects GitHub repository. Also, check out the Ultimate Python Resource Hub repository for Python books, newsletter, podcasts, etc. You can also refer to my blog for a step-by-step -step guide of the video tutorial. I would love to connect with you on Twitter. My handle goes by ayushi 7 Rawat. LinkedIn and other social platforms. I'll attach the link in the description box below. Join my Telegram channel and Discord server for regular updates and to connect with peers and fellow developers to make new connections and to help improve your coding skills. Check out the other video tutorials in Python project playlist and make sure to subscribe my channel. If the video has helped you, like and share it with your friends and connections who are interested in learning Python. Do share your feedback in the comment section which will help me improve my next video. Also, drop your suggestion if you want me to make a video on a particular topic. I will be back with more such videos. Till then, take care. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.